Now to a Sacramento landmark that has a fresh new look. This is the view of East Sacramento's McKinley Park from Live Copter 3. The new amenities for the park opened today. And although the McKinley Park Water Vault project is complete, the city is still dealing with a lawsuit against it. KCRA3's Brandi Cummings has been covering this project from the beginning. She takes a look back, and as that part of the park reopens, she explains where things stand now. Welcome to McKinley Park. Yeah. This ribbon cutting means the McKinley Park Water Vault project is now complete, but the court battle is not. There was a hearing about two weeks ago. Uh, the judge will issue the final ruling on that appeal uh, shortly. We saw a sign still in one ESAC yard wanting to halt the vault. In 2018, KCRA told you about the lawsuits against the project. Efforts the founder of the nonprofit that manages the McKinley Rose Garden calls ridiculous. A big waste of time and money. Cecily uh, Hastings is pleased with how the project with. turned out and believes it'll only increase business so the young and the old can stop to smell the roses. This is far more than I ever expected it would be when I first heard about it eight years ago. We said you really have Discussions about the need to upgrade the park started years ago. This is video from a community meeting in 2015. Four years later, in the summer of 2019, Livecopter 3 showed you the view as the project was underway. I stood in this same spot two and a half years ago. At the time, there was nothing but dirt here. We had to go 20 feet underground. But now, in this part, new grass and new trees cover the area. We've revamped the sprinkler systems. We've planted 60 new trees. Uh, we revamped the jogging path all the way around McKinley Park and tried to rearrange the sprinkler system so it doesn't flood the path and get muddy because that was a frequent complaint. Remember, this is how the vault works. It'll temporarily hold rainwater to reduce flooding, then drain as the storm subsides. Pictures from 2009 show how much a problem flooding was in that area. It's not what you see. Instead, it's what you don't see that'll make the difference. Brandi Cummings, KCRA 3 News. And as for concerns about the historic George Butter Coal field that was removed, Councilman Jeff Harris says there is still a field, and instead of being set up only for baseball, this one is a multi-use field, and they do plan to add a commemorative plaque honoring coal.